what's good youtube this is tjk creative i am tyler welcome to the channel if you're new if you're not new so welcome as well hit that subscribe button for the newcomers hit the like button hit the notification bell get into the comments if you have any questions or you just want to chat or you want to say if you like the video or not also join the discord should be in the description the discord especially if you're watching this video and you're an ai enthusiast you'll have a a good time in there with the AI tab. I have set up lots of uh, links in there, lots of different uses. So you can have some fun in there or ask questions or hang out. Do what you will. This video is for training your data set and making your custom model for RVC and for AI covers, whatever you want to do with it. Have some fun, enjoy life. And if you're coming from the previous video, thank you for watching that. But if this is your first video, you need to watch how to install RVC locally. And then the last video, how to make your data set. And now we're here to train the data set. Now, you created your data set. Now, what you want to want to do is go to your data set. Usually I have mine right here on my main storage drive. I have my data set in this data set setup folder. You don't have to put yours in, in there specifically. I just like to have mine there. Uh, in my experience, your data set could really be anywhere on the computer uh, on your main storage from what I know. But like I said, I just put mine in here. What you're gonna wanna do is click on a data set folder you have, click copy path. If you're on Windows 11, you'll be able to right click and click copy path, but on Windows 10, It'll be right here, copy path. You're gonna come to your RVC, go to train. Right here, we'll just name it a test so it doesn't conflict with my model. We're gonna click V2. You can leave these here. Uh, I hear 40K is really the best target sample rate, but also you can just play with that if you're having fun. Right here where it says enter path of the training folder you're gonna highlight that and you're just gonna paste it you can leave these here that's fine and then what you're gonna want to do is click process data and you'll see on the command prompt that it's loading in the audio file that you made for your data set it's gonna load that one file in right there once you see end process right here that's how you know it's over we're gonna come down here for this, I'm gonna train on uh, Crepe or Crepe. There is a new uh, version of RVC, but since you're probably coming from the last video, I'm using the, the version I showed you. If you guys want an updated version uh, tutorial, let me know in the comments. It's There's just a new, I think they made a couple of changes to the whole UI as well. Uh, we can get into that another time. But come right here, these, it's usually best to train on Crepe. If in here, click Freak. Feature extraction, and you'll see uh, it's going to break down your 10 minute data set into a couple, what, around 200. I'd say this is going to break it down to around 200 10 second wave files. Now, when it says all future done, that's when you know it's done. And we're going to come down here. Now, the save frequency is just how many save uh, points you want so you can test your model, see how it sounds. Uh, I usually put mine at 50 epochs every, so every 50 epochs that it trains, it'll save uh, a model for you to test and it'll be in, in the inferencing voice section. You'll just refresh this and it'll be in there. It'll also be in your weights folder on your RVC folder. And then how many epochs? This is up to you. Depends on how, how big your data set is, how good it is. Usually I do 250 to 300 for 10 minutes or less. Uh, if you, you know, you can, you can play with that. You can do more or less. It's up to you really. But usually, like I said, I'll do 300. I, I usually leave batch size per GPU at what it has default because it recognizes your GPU and like has that there. Save only the latest. I click yes. This I leave at no. And then this is again, save a small file model to the weights folder at each save point, which will be this first tab right here, the save frequency. You're gonna click yes. 
and then you're going to want to click train feature index. So you'll have an index file for your model that happens right here quick. And this is the last uh, part right here. It's going to, you're going to click train model and we'll open the command prompt up again. And now it's going to go through all of its things, find all of the, the files that it broke down from your data set, all of the, so here is all the wave files. It saved about 179 split up files from the one data set we made. And that's how that works. Here's the index file we just trained on the side right here. And it's already been training. Here's epoch one, two, and three. Mine takes, I guess, for this data set, it's taking eight seconds or less an epoch. The first one takes the longest. And that's it. From here, once it hits 50, it'll automatically save. And then you can test out your model here if it's if it sounds good or not. Because it'll get better and better as the epochs go. And that's really it. This is how you train your model. Once it's done training, like, like I said, it'll be in your weights folder. And that's it. You've trained your model. And now you get to have fun, make AI covers. Maybe you can make skits, uh, animated. You can make your own, if you know how to animate and you want to voice it, but you don't want to use your voice and you want, you know, you can have fun with it. Do it. This is AI is taking over. You just have fun with it. Uh, Again, thanks for watching. Join the Discord. Hit the like button. Get in the comments. I'm sure people will need help. For people, something always goes wrong for people. People accidentally do the wrong thing, or just you know, technology does what technology does, and it just for some people, you know, just it messes up. And you know, whatever it is, let me know. Again, join the Discord. That's where you. I have a help section in the Discord. I'd rather you go there to ask for help, so we don't flood the YouTube comments with. You know, just a lot of questions. I, you know, yeah. Either way, though, thank you for watching. I'm just a guy with a camera and a mic, and I'm out.